God damn it. I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you. My name's Ben. I, I live close here. You look cold, huh? You been out here all night? Here. Here. There you go. Well, why don't you come back to my cabin with me and get warm? I, I got food and we could call somebody. And, or, or we could call your parents. Look, you, you don't have to talk anymore to anybody. But come back with me. It could get warm. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit right here and freeze too. <laughs> I remember one year we came out here in November. Later than we should have. Alex was only about eight or nine. And, well, she did not enjoy spending the day in the deer blind with me shushing her all day. So, when we got back to the campsite, all she wanted to do was go home. When it came time for bedtime, she just got in the sleeping bag and said, I'm glad this stupid day is over. All because I wouldn't let her, her one stupid day ruin the whole trip. That irritated me. I told her, well, you know what? I said, I want every day with you to last forever. But you don't care what I think because you're just a selfish little girl. I can't believe I was so petty. Enough to get back at a nine-year-old. I was angry, but I, I wanted her to know that I loved her, too. I guess I just suck at getting my point across. Here's the bathroom right here. And why don't you go over there and lie down on the couch and I'll get the heater Go on and put some food. Hey, you are allergic to anything? National Park Service. Hey, this is Ben. Is Roger there? Hey now, it's okay. Remember I told you that my friend Roger was going to come get you so we could find your family. Well, I can come too if you'd like. You don't ever have to be afraid anymore. I'm not scared of him. I got lost to try to be found, but no one cared enough to look. And I'm scared of going home. Because I don't know what home feels like. Hey Ben, I can't.
came as soon as I could. She's just inside. She's really shook up. I, I mean, she hadn't spoke to me much at all tonight. Well, you did the right thing getting her warm and calling me immediately. Well, maybe I should come along. She seems to trust me, and I hate for her to be met by nothing but new faces all night. Ben, slow down. That's a real nice thought, but I can smell the whiskey. Why don't you rest up? I'll get her home safe. But what if her family is the reason she was in the woods for the first place? I mean, you, you can't just take whoa, her whoa, back. Whoa, whoa, Ben, I just... slow down. Nobody's going to take her anywhere she doesn't want to go. She's in good hands now. this so you don't ever have to be cold in the woods again. Now listen, I'm going to take you to a really nice place to live. But you take care of yourself now. For my sake, anyway. <laughs> 